We officially have this first whole west side of the fencing done and it's looking so darn good. Let me show you guys. All the way down there at the pond. It's just so crazy how much just having this one run of the fence done just completely transforms this place. Like it gives it a totally different feel and we absolutely love it. <laughs> I can't even imagine once the entire fence is completed. We've had a lot of comments from you guys wondering why we are working on the fence right now instead of working on something inside of the house and something just happened and it's the prime example as to why we are working on this right now. I mean, yeah, the cows get in the barn all the time and knock stuff over like ladders and whatnot, which isn't a huge deal, it's annoying, but we just caught a cow chewing on one of the solar panel wires. You can see all the wires that we have down here connecting all the solar panels together and there was just a cow over here pulled down this wire which they're all zip tied up there so it pulled it down and was just gnawing on it so yeah we need to get this done now so for anybody wondering why we're working on this that's why <laughs> We're now roughly done with half of the fence and we're just about to start working on this front portion right here. And things are definitely starting to move more quickly because we actually know what we're doing now, which is nice. But what I am most looking forward to is getting to install these gates right here, which we'll get to do once all the fencing is done. We have a walk-in gate right here and then we also have our car gate. So once all our gates are up, we will officially be able to keep the bear in. <laughs> because this little boy likes to go on adventures in the middle of the night in the woods.
and we're out of wood. <laughs> oh, I know, oh, right? Yeah. He wants to go on a W. It's looking so good. We just have one more chunk to go. All right, guys, we got some hot action on this post we're working on right now. Round one, fight. <laughs> God. These daddy long legs are going at it. Not in that way. <laughs> it's so dumb. They're getting tired, you can tell. Mm-hmm. These are heavyweight champs. Oh my God. I'll let you go, just need some time. We need to take this strap off over here that is on this gate that we had done because we need to put it on the other side of the yard on that gate. So we're about to see how well this little hack worked. And this isn't starting out too well. After I just settled that, Bear walked over and peed on the corner of the batch water heater. <laughs> That's not a good sign. Really, Bear? Really? It's good? Well, that was uneventful, <laughs> which is a good thing. Yeah, right? Look at us, just two noobs killing it. <laughs> What's your biggest need? Every hour we spend together, and suddenly. Is it the same, top and bottom? It's like a quarter inch off. It's better on the other side. The other side was a half inch off. From top to bottom. Damn. That's good. It's for a fence. Tell it to the people at the International Space Station. When docking a spacecraft, you can't be a half inch off. That would be catastrophic. All right, guys, so I had a change of heart with the fence, at least with the uh, fence posts or the fence gate posts. I wanted to see how much uh, play I would get out of them if I wiggled them around a little bit because obviously with a door opening and closing, it would eventually do the same thing. So no matter how hard I tampered down, I would always get them to wiggle loose and then I would get like this action, which is no good. So last night I went ahead and just dug around roughly about a foot, foot and a half deep and just poured in a bag of 50 pound cement around all the gate posts. That's the only spot I'm putting, putting cement. Uh, so today I just got three posts left to do and then I can move on to building my actual gates. Now that Spencer has all the concrete around all of the gate posts done, what we're going to start working on is extending the fencing out into the pond. The reason why is because the big bowl will literally just walk right around the fencing, so we need to do this to try to keep him out. So hopefully Spencer doesn't fall in the water. I think you're gonna be going down. Oh my gosh. Oh, the water's about to go in your boot. You're sinking. <laughs> All right. We're realizing how far out Spencer's going to have to go. So I'm gonna go dig out your swimsuit. <laughs> In December. In December. All right, let's see it. Glad you're getting some entertainment out of it. Oh my gosh, you look so funny. <laughs> That's quite the fashion statement. I'm literally crying. That's funny. 
You look like a little kid that's just trying to dress himself. <laughs> He's just trying to get this small piece out of there so we can put a longer piece in because the bull walks right around that right now, so it needs to go out much further. <laughs> oh. You doing okay? It's really cold. <sighs> Your face. I don't know if I can go much deeper. This is like. Lovey, you're only like halfway. It gets cl any closer upstairs. <laughs> okay, that wasn't that bad. It was like up to my nads. <laughs> <laughs> wish that I could stay. Wish for this moment to never go away. But it's all in my mind. And though I know that there is nothing to find. You're a beautiful sight in the summer night. You can't put up a fight in the misty light streets all alone all you can see thinking about what your life came to be you're a beautiful sight in the summer night and you can't put up a fight in the misty light It's crazy how building this fence makes our land feel so much more like the home we're striving for. What we are doing is about so much more than building a house. We are building the life we've always wanted for ourselves. We still have a ways to go, but we are becoming more self-reliant with each passing day. We get our power from the sun, our water from the sky, and that is just the beginning. <laughs>